Hey guys, Yana here, and in this video, I am doing the love reading for October 15th, uh, 2018 until October 30th, 2018 for the following sign of... Now, if this reading does not resonate with you, you have to take in consideration that this reading is general. It may or may not resonate because not every single person of your sign is going through the same exact thing. Okay, so it would be in your best interest to book a private reading. Now, I have multiple readings. I have readings that start as low as $7 and all the way up to 97 okay so there is basically a reading that will uh work for anyone okay because i understand that everyone is in different um places when it comes to their finances okay so let's uh get into the reading i'm gonna pull my cards and we're gonna get into the reading i just kind of wanted to do something a little different i wanted to show my face um because i know in like my other videos i did it so i want you guys to see that i'm real i'm here and Let's get into your reading. All right, Capricorn. So let's get into your October 15th to October 31st, 2018 love reading. So I'm going to ask your spirit guides, what is the overall energy for the sign of Capricorn? Okay, that wanted to pop right out, so I'm going to allow it to pop out. What is their overall energy? All right, so you guys' overall energy is the Ten of Swords. I mean, sorry, Ten of Wands reverse, right? So basically, you guys are releasing a burden, okay? And it's more than likely a relationship, a situation <laughs> I always have to say that. Friends with benefits, someone that you've basically been dealing with on a romantic level. You're deciding to release this because this has become a total burden to you okay you know you're no longer confident in this situation um <clears throat> the situation had may, may have um caused you to become kind of bitchy um you lost like confidence in yourself you know like you don't have much self-worth right now your self-esteem may even be shot um you may even have like gotten to the point where you started doing malicious things like you know basically acting i apologize my phone had dropped like i have it on my tripod and it just fell down i'm like great okay so let me go back to where we was at so basically you're deciding to drop this you know you view this relationship whatever it is that you're dealing with romantically as a burden you know you no longer want to put any more energy into it you've lost the passion for this um you know your confidence is shot you may have even um became you know malicious towards this person as a result of them just kind of wasting your time you know what i mean and with the magician reverse it shows me that you were dealing with someone who was more than likely a player, someone who was basically kind of telling you what they thought you wanted to hear. Um, you, you also may feel like this person doesn't have what it takes to manifest relationship. So this person, you know, they're not res uh, resourceful. Like they're not someone that you can rely on. They may not even like have like abundance in their life, you know? and it shows that um you 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 two verbally let each other know about your dissatisfaction with each other like you guys have a lot of verbal debates with each other 
but they're not healthy. So it's like you telling this person how you feel. They're telling you how they feel. But no one is like saying, okay, well, since you feel like that, let me try to compromise. Let me try to change. Let me try to help you feel differently. It's like both of you have become stubborn. And that's kind of what I feel intuitively. And you have every reason to not want to budge and not want to change the way you feel because this person you can't manifest anything with them they're just not resourceful like they don't they don't have anything to give okay so right now you guys are practicing balance you know you're you're being more patient with yourself and through you being more patient you are actually going to get a new start okay so this may be a new start in like finances like maybe a new job um, you may even be starting a new business. Uh, you may even be applying for um, different jobs, getting like, you know, interviews, people calling you back about your resume. Um, so, you, you know, yeah, you're like no longer really focusing so much on this whole partnership with this person. And you're pretty much just putting all of your energy into your finances. And it shows that you are going to definitely get a new start in finances, okay? So I just want to know, how does the person that the Capricorn is dealing with, how do they feel? How do they feel? Okay. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so it shows that the person that you were dealing with, they were really anxious and um, they were experiencing a lot of insomnia about, you know, making a decision when it comes to this relationship. They actually were trying to avoid making a decision. And it kind of shows that they still kind of are avoiding like making a final decision when it comes to like whether they should walk away, let you go, or they should try to work it out with you. This is kind of what it's showing me, okay? So to um, make it more simple, right? They were anxious at one point about making a decision about moving forward or not moving forward, right? But they're slowly coming out of feeling anxious, right? And they're still kind of not fully making a decision about letting you go fully, right? And the reason why they're not fully um, making a decision about letting you go is because, see, a part of them does want a higher commitment with you right a part of them part of them does but then at the same time they kind of don't right and i believe that because i don't just read for like the meaning of the cards i read for what i feel intuitively and i feel like it's because what i feel intuitively is like you guys had like a really good partnership in the beginning and then things just went south you guys experienced like a rough patch and this caused you to kind of become a bitch and they're kind of like I want the old them back like can they go back to how they used to be but then they're not realizing that they're the reason why you became like this you know because of their lack of resources their lack of trying to manifest with you you know them kind of being like a player it, it, it just led you to be like, I'm going to be a bitch to you. So it's like they're sitting there saying, I don't want to fully let this go, but maybe I should. But they're more leading towards like not really wanting to let it go. Okay. They're actually kind of um, gaining new feelings for you all over again. So it's almost like 
when they see that you're ready to let this go and you no longer care, it's like they all of a sudden become attracted to you again. Isn't that funny how that always works out? So I'm going to end this reading here. I hope that you guys found this reading helpful. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, another thing I have to point out, if this reading did not resonate with you, you're going to want to book a private reading, right? I have like so many deals on my website. There is a deal for someone on there. Um, you know, I wanted to create multiple readings so that everyone would have a chance to actually get a reading done because you know i understand some people want readings and they can't afford it so there's multiple options when it comes to the type of reading that you can um book okay so i'm gonna end this video here don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe and i will have your november love readings for 2018 in about two weeks so talk to you soon.